a brand new you. So yeah, you're emerging out of this hermit energy in a space of self-understanding. I'm also hearing self-control, autonomy, physically, mentally, and emotionally, having a greater sense of self, having a newer sense of self. And there could have been some things that you're facing losing or you have faced the loss of, but the weight of what you're gaining consistently outweighs the weight of feeling that loss. Whatever it is you've lost, Leo, it's not the end of the world. And I feel like you recognize that quite clearly. Hey there, Leo. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? So. Welcome to your monthly reading, general monthly reading for April of 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading and by general, I mean a general energy reading. So we could be talking about anything here, love, career, friendships, family, whatever. Whatever needs is necessary for the collective of Leo to hear at this moment or for, for whomever, that's the message that's gonna come through here, yes? So also with that said, please keep in mind that we could be talking to a cross watcher here, yeah? So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The roles can be reversed. Make sure that you do not try to place anything, fit anything into your life that doesn't, uh, doesn't naturally fit, yeah? So, um, I am available for private readings. If you would like to get a private reading with me, check the description box down below. All the information can be found there. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon. Patreon no longer has the daily readings. Morning Coffee has now moved back to YouTube as of the 1st of April. So, um, you can check out Morning Coffee. That's my daily reading. But if you want to get extra content such as monthly love readings by sign or just maybe some extended readings extra stuff whatnot whatever or you just want to support the channel you are more than welcome to do so check me out over on patreon yeah so for this month sorry guys for this month um i'm going with the golden art nouveau tarot and then i'll be closing out the reading with guidance from our from the oracle of the unicorns yes i felt like because we're in the spring season the oracle of the unicorns really felt perfect for that so that's what we're going to work with all right leo let's get into your pre-shuffle um please excuse me i'm having sinus issues of course the channelers curse as soon as i sit down to do something now my sinuses want to act up because I'm opening up my third eye and channeling things. But please, please bear with me. All right, so Leo, your pre-shuffle energy is actually pretty big, just like your personality, yes? Um, but you have major arcana here. You have the tower, which was the first card to come out, and then you have the hermit, but the hermit is in reverse, which I'm not going to say is a bad thing, Leo, because what I feel like is happening for you right now is the reason why there could be a tower moment here is because you are coming out of a sense of a state of solitude and a state of maybe having been in a dark night of the soul type energy. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the moon and the moon here. Now, I will say, hold on, before I go any further, I will say, Leo, that this could possibly be or you could be dealing with this tower moment or something like that because in the past there was a lack of self-awareness, okay? For some of you though, I feel like what's happening is you've been in a state of solitude, solitary, huh, I want to say solitary confinement, but maybe you've just been keeping to yourself a lot lately and you've been doing a lot of work to heal, to fix, to learn about yourself, to go through a state of self-awareness. And now it feels like now that you're emerging, now that something has been revealed to you, the moon, now that's creating a tower moment, okay? It, it literally feels like the energy of you coming out of a state of solitude is the energy that's creating a massive change around you because you have learned more about yourself. You don't have to be in this hermit energy any longer. Underneath the moon at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords, to the Four of Wands, yep, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles, okay? All of this is talking about you moving forward from rough waters to calmer waters to a greater sense of self-union and foundation, 
and which is causing you to walk away from something or someone or maybe even a group of people in order for you to maintain balance or a greater sense of balance and harmony in your life. And that could very well be what this tower moment is representing. Okay. All right, Leo. Very nice. Let me let me um, clear the deck here. Let me just get a cleansing shuffle. What do we have here? The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. So there seems to be something that you're not following through with any longer. Uh, it could be a relationship. It could be a partnership. It could be a business deal. Maybe it's a creative project, a creative process. Uh, and it feels like maybe you were giving the benefit of the doubt. Uh, in some cases, what I just heard, Leo, is you could have been, you may have been a little too loyal to this situation and it ended up hurting you in the end and now you've decided to to steer clear of it is what i just heard all right maybe that's connected to this tower moment that you're dealing with or maybe that's just something completely new and different ultimately though it was burdensome ten of wands you i'm hearing some of you you were carrying the weight and the burden of too many people on your shoulders and that's not right it's not fair maybe that was the 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 realization you came to in this hermit energy okay let me give this one more shuffle here all right and then we'll see what we've got for you here we go leo Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the general energies in terms, uh, in terms of the general energies for Leo for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo, five shuffles here. One. And, oops, let's try that again. One. And what I'm hearing for you right now, Leo, is Leo's energy is pure, vibrant, and strong, and ready to take action. So I feel like you, you if you, if you're coming out of a hermit mode right now, you were going through, basically, you were going through a purification process, a purging process, and now you're coming out of that stronger feeling more alive in some cases, feeling much more confident in yourself as well. This is two. This is three. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2021, general energies. This is four. And this is five. All right, Leo, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right, overall energy. We've got the Ace of Cups. And so this is very similar to Aries energy because Aries got the Ace of Cups too, uh, but they got it at, as the... Um, uh, as like the closing message or potential outcome in the first half of their reading, you're getting it as the very first card in your overall energy. So it's this sense of self-love and commitment to the self that is providing you with a sense of uh, understanding, unconditional love. I'm also hearing control. So having greater control and authority over you, over your life. Okay. Underneath that is the Ten of Pentacles. Underneath that is the Five of Cups. And then finally, underneath that is the Fool. And it's so funny, Leo, because the Fool was the very first card in Aries overall energy. So either you may have Aries in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with an Aries if this is resonating on a love situation. Um, or maybe just the Aries reading would resonate for you. But you've gotten over, you've gotten over a lot. There is a lot that has been changing for you right now, uh, Leo. Um, and there is a... Uh, a closing of a cycle, a closing of a life lesson or a life circumstance that is allowing you to move forward and take a leap of faith, okay? A brand new you. So yeah, you're emerging out of this hermit energy 
with a place in a space of self understanding. I'm also hearing self control, autonomy, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Having a greater sense of self, having a newer sense of self. And there could have been some some pretty heavy emotions, or it could have been some things that you're dealing with, that you're facing losing, or you have faced the loss of. But the weight of, of what you're gaining, totally, 100%, and I hear, I'm hearing consistently, outweighs the weight of feeling that loss. Whatever it is, whatever it is you've lost, Leo, it's not the end of the world. And I feel like you recognize that quite clearly. Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading, you have the Empress connected to a state of abundance. And I feel like that's what's causing you to be able to set the record straight and create this tower moment and walk away from some things that no longer serve you. Okay. The Empress is coupled with the Ace of Swords, connected to that state of that that state of abundance, recognizing that you don't have to worry about losing someone or walking away from something because ultimately there's more where that came from. And quite frankly, Leo, I think what you also understand, what's helping you be in this state of abundance, and what's really helping you do this is recognizing that all is not lost here and recognizing that ultimately if something is lost or something is taking away from you it wasn't really meant maybe it wasn't meant to be there for a long period of time or it just wasn't the right fit for you it was toxic it was conditional it was just not a good thing so again the understanding and the awareness of what it is around you that could be falling away outweighs any sort of emotions in terms of dealing with the loss of the situation, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. You have the magician stepping into the driver's seat, manifesting your greatest potential is what I just heard. And it feels like in terms of like the tower moment we were talking about in the beginning of the reading, um, whatever is falling away for you right now is allowing you to manifest more new and better than you had before. I just feel, I feel very strongly, Leo, whatever is, whatever is crumbling in your life, it's making space for you to manifest greater things, okay? The magician is coupled with the lovers. You're manifesting, some of you are manifesting love. Absolutely, 100%. Some of you definitely are manifesting love. And we were talking about that for you last month because I remember specifically part of the message for you, Leo, was um, to maintain your boundaries because in doing that, you will be receiving, you'll be able to manifest the love that you want. So yes, you are, I feel like those of you, some of you are manifesting that, you're continuing to manifest that, but you're doing it at a conscious level. You are making sure that even if you're not trying to manifest love, whatever it is you're manifesting in your life right now, it feels, I feel very strongly that you are very focused on being the purveyor of your own life and also making sure that whatever it is you manifest into your existence ultimately serves your highest good and nothing else, regardless of who or what that may entail or may not entail, right? Excellent. Excellent, Leo. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here is the Wheel of Fortune, time. Even though time is an illusion, okay, you have to allow the situation to run its course. You have to allow the universe to bring this to you at the direct right timing, at the exact right timing, okay? There may be a sense of impatience here. There may be. And you may have to really be patient with it. I feel like that is part of your challenge, Leo. However, I also feel like if this seems like it's taking extra super long, there is a reason for that. Because I feel like there are many massive, major, overarching cycles in your life that are changing right now. So part of your challenge here with the Wheel of Fortune, Leo, is allowing the karma to shift in your favor. Okay? That's not something that's going to happen right away, overnight, at the snap of a finger. No, it's, it, it, there is an adjustment period is what I just heard, 
Okay. Wheel of Fortune is coupled with... Ooh! Well, there it is. The tower. And like with the tower energy here, first you have to find the awareness that, re that helps you recognize what needs to be taken down. And then it needs to be dismantled. It needs to be taken down. And then in some cases, the dust has to settle. And then you can start to rebuild. So that's why I'm feeling like your challenge here, Leo, is allowing circumstances to change, to progress naturally. Okay? Okay. I am hearing be patient with yourself. Uh, closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries, in the first... I'm sorry, not Aries. Leo. <laughs> My bad. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Leo, you have the Six of Pentacles. And I feel like all, what I just heard is all of this is in service of greater reciprocity for you. Balance between give and take. I did just hear ego driven. Uh, so I feel like part of this hermit process that you would have been dealing with was recognizing that whatever... For some of you, for some of you, I'm not going to lie, for some of you, whatever it is that you were pursuing or going after in terms of being reciprocal, I don't feel like it really was that reciprocal. I feel like it was more ego-driven. Hmm. Okay. Six of Pentacles is coupled with... Ah, uh, yes. The Six of Swords. There's that Six of Swords again. So, yeah. All of... Whatever is happening, happening here for you right now, Leo, is in service of greater a greater sense of reciprocity you could be going through a period right now where you're leaving past relationships or past circumstances behind that you have come to the realization were not as balanced and, re and reciprocal as you once may have thought and that's okay to realize this after the fact that's okay because ultimately you realized it and ultimately you're deciding to make it you're you're deciding to make a decision you're you're, decide, you're deciding to choose what's ultimately best for you, regardless of what that entails and regardless of what other people say about it. So that's really the most important thing, okay? <sighs> All right, Leo. So let's get into the second half of your reading, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. We do have the Eight of Swords, but what I immediately just heard is you're coming out of it. This does, in some cases, Leo, this does feel like you were connected to a group of people or like a cir circumstance that you felt like you couldn't get out of. I feel like it was your loyalty that was getting the better of you here. Eight of Swords is coupled with the Two of Wands. But ultimately, Leo, it is your choice. If there are some of you that still feel like you're stuck here, like you can't get away from it, like you can't get out of it, ultimately, it's your decision to make, regardless of what the circumstances are, all right? It's your decision. It's your life. You get to choose. So really, Leo, what this is saying here is you can either stay in some sort of confinement or mental prison, allowing other people to dictate things for you, or you can say, you know what? No. I'm not doing that any longer. The choice is yours. The choice has always been yours, regardless of what people say. But again, Leo, I feel like it's your loyalty, your sense of loyalty, your sense of commitment, your sense of protection or protective energy for those that you love or those that are part of your circle or whatnot. That was getting the better of you. And in some cases, it may have come back to bite you in the ass, but it happened in a way that only served to wake you up to it. It didn't really hurt you physically. It may have hurt you emotionally, but I don't think you actually really, I think this was, it wasn't, and it wasn't meant to hurt you physically. It was supposed to just wake you up a little bit, okay? Hence this Five of Cups. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. You have the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So this is that energy of you looking at the situation, taking stock of it, working on seeing it for what it truly is, and saying, all right, well, if I don't want this anymore, I've got to try something different, yeah? Seven of Pentacles is coupled with, yep, there you go, the Eight of Cups. So this to me is saying right here that, yeah, okay, you're walking away from it. You see clearly you're tired of doing something the same way and getting a different result, uh, the same result. You're tired of being involved with like a certain group of people that just 
time and time again, quite frankly, oof, quite frankly, Leo, time and time again, show you who they truly are, and yet you still choose to honor them in ways in which they don't deserve. It's time to walk away from that. Your challenge here, Leo, in the second half of your reading is the Three of Wands. Moving forward on your path, and the thing that I'm getting specifically from the Three of Wands, which is what the challenge is here, is understanding what it is you truly need out of life, which is what I feel like you've been working on in that hermit energy that you're coming out of, and then making a choice to follow through with it. I feel like you've learned enough at this point, Leo, for you to put some different energies into place for you. But yeah, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to test your loyalty. It already has tested your sense of loyalty. But think about it this way. You're not being disloyal if you are removing yourself from a situation that doesn't honor you the way you know you need to be. That, to me, kind of sounds like they're being disloyal, not you. Okay? Three of Wands is coupled with the Hanged Man. So, Leo, your challenge here, quite frankly, your challenge is to follow through with the change in perspective that you have come to. I just heard, because ultimately it's meant to be this way. You may just, you just may not see it yet, okay? Sorry, I have to pause for just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading. You, wow, little shit. Okay, you got the Ten of Swords. Look, I'm not, ooh, honey, I'm not gonna lie. This feels like a pretty powerful ending. It does feel like it may be slightly painful. But ultimately, it's a good thing. And that's what this tower moment is also representing. And quite frankly, Leo, what this, why this is happening is because you have this sense of self-love, unconditional love, and I'm hearing commitment to the self that's allowing you to end this, to learn from this. Ten of Pentacles, okay? To complete this lesson. Some of you are dealing with narcissists. I just heard that. And there have been a lot of there have been a lot of people lately saying that you know this 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 uh, label or this phrase of, of of narcissism or of being a narcissist is being thrown around too much. I don't know. I'm not like whatever. All I know is basically our society is built on narcissistic tendencies so yeah it makes sense to me that it would be running rampant but like i just heard it so i'm gonna say it out i'm gonna put it out there i'm not saying everybody is dealing with it but take it as it resonates okay ten of swords is coupled with the two of cups you found yourself here leo because this two of cups is the same two of cups that is standing up right here in the five and the Three of Cups is what spilled over in the Five. So this may have everything to do with your social circle. Or just people around you that you've been taking care of that you need to stop doing it for. But now it seems that you may have found a sense of unity with yourself here. Two of Cups. For others of you, this could definitely represent love coming in for you. In some ways. Because... And that would be because you have ended the toxic cycles that have kept real, true love and abundance to come to you, okay? Excellent. Let's close out this reading here with some Oracle guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. Three shuffles, yes? One, for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April of 2021. This is two. And this is three. All right, Leo, closing Oracle Guidance for you for April of 2021. Ooh, there it is. Beautiful. You have received. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Let's read this from the book. The key to unlocking your greatest abundance is your ability to receive. The greater your sense of worthiness, the greater your capacity to accept the gifts and blessings the universe wishes to give you. There are many gifts waiting to come to you right now. 
but any guilt, shame, or unworthiness in your system will act like a force field and repel your prosperity. Yes, it is good practice to think positively, be grateful, send out desires to the universe, and say affirmations. However, these tools can only be effective if they are supported by the strong sense that you deserve the good you are asking for. This enchantress and her unicorn hold up a crystal sphere containing all of your heart's desires. They are telling you that all of these gifts can come flowing into your reality when you heal inner wounds and release limiting beliefs that block your ability to receive. They invite you to see yourself through the eyes of the divine as a lovable, worthy being, and in doing so, to open your floodgates of abundance. There are gifts and blessings beyond your wildest dreams, just waiting to surprise and delight you. There is nothing special you need to do in order to be worthy of them, except believe that you are. I love that. So there you have it, Leo. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. And if you'd like to check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations, you can find that in the description box as well. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. I love you all so very much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>